This is a reflow procedure that was done on an HP G62 laptop. This procedure was done at Bamjack Computers at 1103 East Oakland Avenue in Bloomington, Illinois. For all your computer needs, give us a call. Okay, so we've had a lot of these HP computers in, and they're just dead, no video. Or they're not dead, they get power, no video. This is a G62, and what you'll see is when we plug it in, the power light will light up. So power to the board. We'll push the power button, and the power light will light up, and it sounds like it's trying to boot. You'll see the light there in a second. However, the problem is, down here, if we find the caps lock key, it will just blink over and over again and there's absolutely no video at all on the screen so we did some research on this to figure out what the problem was and what we find out is what we need to do is what is called a repo, reflow procedure so um, I'm speeding this up quite a lot removing both the covers and the battery and the hard drive remove the wireless card the DVD Every screw that you can see on the back is going to have to come out. Um, there was a little bit of a problem with this one. It had been taken apart before. Uh, it must have been before to come into the shop. I'll show you that here in a minute. All the screws come out. Keep them in order. There's about three different sizes. This one up here is the one I had trouble with, as you can see. Um, I found out later that there's a broken part up in the corner, which actually has some trouble getting the board back in later. These three here um, hold the top cover on. There's three more on the other side of the battery that hold the keyboard in, so take those out as well. All right, and once those are out, we can flip her on over, and the keyboard will pop right out. Remove the ribbon. Work your way around. Um, the cover bezel here will come off pretty easily. Remove all your cables. There, don't forget the middle screw like I almost did. And that pops right off. Okay, and then we're down to the board. There's two ribbon cables here on the right, and then there's one underneath that's a plug-in. Three screws. There's one there, one down the bottom, and one up by the um, by the heat sink assembly. I have a little bit of trouble with that one, but the board pops right out. <clears throat> okay, so we're down to the board. Go ahead and take the memory out. Remove your heat sink and fan assembly. and the processor. There's a little uh, thermal pad there. I'm using a Wagner power gun. Don't forget to remove the, the battery as well. And what I'm doing is I'm going back and forth on a low setting and I know that if I do this for four or five minutes it's going to get it to about 360 degrees which is where it needs to be. Um, the thermal compound and the solder that is on the chip set, it's actually on the graphics set, what happens is it gets crystallized or honeycombed I don't know the exact terminology but it's not able to pull the heat off of it so this procedure heating it up actually melts that again and allows it to reform um, in a way that it'll pull the, the heat away from the graphics set um, I've done this enough that I know I just need to do this for about five minutes which is what I did and it's gonna stay right at that 360 degree temperature alright what I did there is I went and held it in front of a fan for about five minutes to cool it off now going to remove all the thermal compound from the processor and from the um, the heat sink. Get rid of everything that's on there. Make it nice and clean. Make sure that all those surfaces are free of debris and clean. I'm going to use Arctic Silver. I put the processor back in. You don't need much. About the size of a grain of rice is about all you need. Anything else is really overkill. There's the thermal pad again. And one, two, three one two three and then plug your fan in I have a little bit of trouble with mine but I eventually get it there we go alright replace the battery the memory and you're ready to throw your board back in here's where I had some trouble um, the upper left hand corner there was not quite flush there's a broken piece there um, so mine wasn't quite sitting right I eventually get it in there there we go. Then there's three screws down at the bottom, right over there, and then up top. There's a little bit of trouble getting this one in as well, just because of the way it's sitting. But I eventually get it there. All right. Plug in the one under underneath, and then the two ribbon cables. There's one down below, 
and then there's the speaker assembly that goes right into there the video assembly and we can put our top back on there's two cables up above that's for the power button there and then the touchpad and mouse assembly down below <coughs> and then your middle screw that holds it and pop your keyboard in press it down flip it over I'm going to speed this up quite a lot. This is going up to eight times because all these screws got to go back in the same way. There's your DVD. There's your wireless. <clears throat> Hard drive, both covers, battery, and flip her over, plug her in, and get power. And you can see here that it is now getting video. Um, <clears throat> I went ahead and uh, I'll restart it here in a minute just to show you that it will boot into Windows. Here we go, right into Windows, and it's good to go. Um, reflow procedures are on, a lot of them on HPs and Dells. Uh, this reflow procedure was done at Bamjack Computers at 1103 East Oakland Avenue in Bloomington, Illinois. Thanks for watching.